Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got the top five vintage collection figures for 2020. I had to think about how to say that for a second there. I'm really, really thrilled to sort of take a look back at the vintage collection through 2020. Definitely had some highlights, had some lowlights. Um, Black Series is getting probably more of the love at the moment, which is a little bit sad for all us long time 3.75 collectors, but uh, yeah, we really want to push that message out to Hasbro that three and three, three and three quarter, 3.75 inch is definitely uh, something we want to keep alive uh, long term. We want vintage collection to keep going long term. So I want to point out my top five figures for the year. So let's kick off. All right, so coming in at number five is one I'm a little biased of. It is Clone Trooper, Arc Trooper Jesse, sorry. Um, yeah, just really blown away by these Arc Troopers that came out in the three pack. Um, yeah, this is just, Jesse is my favorite for obvious reasons. Um, I'm just so glad we got an updated version of this character. I'm just, yeah, absolutely thrilled. I just love the blue markings. I love his helmet. Um, probably one flaw I'd give is I wish it was more accurate without the uh, range finder there because he didn't have the range finder. Um, I maybe will at some stage, you know, attempt to fill that hole, but for now it looks better with it than without it. So I'm okay with that. And it's probably got one of the best head sculpts for the year. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. Just the markings of the tattoo on his head are just absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, really big fan of this figure. And uh, yeah, he made he had a pretty pr crucial part to play in the uh, season finale um, of season seven of the Clone Wars. So very, very important character. Um, and he's got an awesome name, let's be honest. Um, yeah, just a great, great figure. So he comes in at number five. Coming in at number four is the Dark Lord himself, Darth Vader. This is the Rogue One Vader. Um, I have modified this ever so slightly. There was a seam in the cape uh, that went all the way from the end up around the front and through to the other end. There is a seam there, so I managed to thread a wire and uh, that just made this figure, to be honest, um, get in some pretty cool poses uh, when you can pose the cape. So you can get some sort of action stances like this, or you can really um, just have the cape sort of flowing in front of him if you just wanted to have him standing stoic. Um, I was a little bit unsure about this Vader. Um, I did point out that probably one little flaw is that he's probably a little too short. Um, I compared this to the A New Hope Vader from uh, 2012 uh, in my review of this figure. And there's just this slight little height difference. I think it's in the torso. I have I still haven't worked it out. Um, some people did say they were upset about the longer arms, but I think the arms are fine. I think it's just that sort of torso, which was compromised in height a little bit. Um, but otherwise it's a fantastic Vader. Uh, it's nice to see them do something different with a Vader. Um, I know not a lot of people are, you know, super stoked with the, the plastic sort of soft plastic um, sort of skirt, tunic, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I, I'm, I'm all for it. I think it's cool to just see something different. Um, and there have been some Vaders that have been all fabric before and it's just, it does get a little bit messy sometimes. So it's cool that they've gone sort of half-half approach. Uh, the head sculpt on this Vader is absolutely fantastic. Um, so this is one I definitely recommend. I've done a review of this one as well. A great Vader. He comes in at number four. And coming in at number three, we have Chirrut Imway from Rogue One. Uh, finally, Hasbro are getting around to making the figures as they should have been as they were released. Um, we also had K2SO this year, who was an absolutely fantastic figure, but... Um, yeah, Chirrut takes the cake. He is absolutely brilliant. Fantastic articulation. Um, accessories are sweet. He does come with his uh, sort of staff as well. Um, but 
I did hold on to the 5 POA one to keep with his staff. Um, this one had to have his sort of bow, bow rifle I guess, I'm not sure. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, brilliant likeness, good use of like soft good material and then plastic on the back, on the back there. Just a, uh, yeah, really good, really good addition to the line. I'm really looking forward to, um, hopefully they get to Bayes Malbus next. Um, Bodhi Rook would be nice. Maybe an update to Jin and Cassian, like, I don't know, maybe in a multi-pack or something with updated, like, sort of the facial print. That'd be great too. Um, Saw Guerrero would be a good one. Director Krennic would look fantastic on a vintage card. There's so many, uh, so many possibilities, but, uh, Cheer it comes in at number three. Coming in at number two, this is kind of a double whammy because it is the Mandalorian in all his focused Beska glory. <laughs> Sorry, it took a while to get focused there. Um, I sort of paired this one up with the... Uh, Din Djarin pack, the build-up pack that came with uh, the child as well, it came with Grogu, um, despite the armor having a lot more of a weathered look. Uh, besides that, they are a fan, both the same figure, but uh, decided just to pull this one down. I gave this one an absolutely glowing review when I reviewed this one on its own. Just absolutely outstanding figure, leaves the uh, Black Series one out in the rain, um, to be honest. Soft goods cape would benefit both of them, uh, both scales uh, going forward. I hope they uh, find a way to do that. Um, but yeah, this one sits nicely. The helmet sculpt is a lot better than the six inch one. Uh, the jet pack is actually a good, accurate color. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, a, just aesthetically, it's a great looking figure. He does come with his rifle too. That's just not displayed with him at the second. Um, so yeah, second place is the Mandalorian uh, Beskar armor. Absolutely fantastic. And coming in at number one for top five vintage collection figures of 2020. These are my top fives. We've got Moff Gideon himself. This is an absolute super impressive figure. Um, yeah, I was really, really blown away with this one. Six inch one, I found that to be really good as well. I know a lot of people said this one is better than the six inch one. I, I put them both on par, to be honest. Um, I think the head sculpt on this one is fantastic for its scale. Um, and they've basically been able to do the same thing with this than they have with the six inch version. Um, my one little Gripe is probably the uh, the dark saber, but if I really wanted to, I could fix that up a little bit, make it look a little better. Um, it was just a little bit of a flimsy, made from a little bit of a flimsy plastic, but uh, it still works. Um, it's fine. <laughs> I've, I've uh, lived with it, and uh, yeah, Moff Gideon is an absolutely fantastic figure. Separate cape, um, so you can definitely get him in those action scenes um, if you want to have him dueling with Mando despite him not having a spear yet. Um, I'm sure we'll get that this year. But yeah, this is a uh, vintage collection figure of the year for me. This is one I would like to pick up a second one of to keep on the card. Um, just, I just really like the figure. The card could have been a little bit brighter in color, um, just to sort of show the image a little bit more. But yeah, this is an absolutely fantastic figure and definitely highly recommended. Again, I've done reviews on all these figures that I've done for my top five, so go and check out the reviews if you haven't already. Um, it's a simple scroll back through my channel, and they're not very far, not very far back at all, so please do that if you haven't. If you uh, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do, and uh, yeah, hit the notification bell so you get uh, alerts to when I drop all my new videos. So there's my top five vintage collection figures for 2020. Thank you very much for tuning in. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.